Everybody can ask them to do the stuff that they did today, be ourselves, play the way we did, dominate the game. We need to be better in front of goal. We know that waiting until the opposition score to, to get that goal is something we need to get better. The same that with the play that, that they created, that chance that they scored. Uh, but it's been really difficult weeks now for the for the team. I think having so many people up week in week out. It's been a few weeks where we have had like very limited time numbers at training. We have had like you've seen it today. Obviously, still you know, because he could only play 45 minutes, so that's already affecting the game. Lin can only play 75 minutes. Rose can only play 15 minutes. You know, so it's already conditioning a lot. Um, but credit, you know, we lost last week. We lost the the. the pair of centre backs that so far we haven't conceded one goal when they are on the pitch which is Tierna Maitane today had to be some and, and Emilia stepping in that role and look at that performance you know I think is I have to give credit to every single of those players that stepped on the pitch today gave their best when they are still not at the best because they are coming back from a lot of different situations so uh, incredibly proud incredibly proud especially you know that moment I think everyone could see <laughs> Concede a goal after playing that game in the 93rd minute. The easiest thing is to put your arms down and, and, and look at each other and look how, how we played this game and lost it. But what we did is we put the ball in the middle of the pitch, we go, go at you again, we play, and straight from kickoff we got the equalizer. So a lot of credit to, to this group of players, and I think we can see you know, that with the performances these, these players have, there's going to be a lot of moments uh, that these fans that were brilliant today are going to have a lot of enjoyment. Okay, Melanie, uh, Hardy, and then Courtney. Yeah. Um, can you just talk about Rose Lavelle? She finally made her debut with the yeah. team. So, can you talk about her performance and you know her goal today? Yeah, well, uh, just to remember as well today we have the debut of Anne, and, yeah. and, and, and back into the team of Sinead and, and Rose. You know, so I think uh, the three of them really, really add into the to the team. Rose, we know what she can do, no? like she's a different player, she brings something different, she, she's a special talent, she's really adapting to the style. Uh, today she had only 15 minutes and, and she got that goal, no? what can she do when we, when we have her for a little bit longer and she's able to earn those positions so, uh, at training, is nobody knows. So we are working with her, we're being very cautious because we know she you know, she, she, she got that, picked up that injury in, in the Gold Cup where she was playing a lot of minutes in a row and we have to manage her. For us, the priority is the health and safety of the players and at this moment in time, we, that's why we, what we're doing with them, making sure that the players that are available to play, that are taking care of us. You know, uh, super proud of her now. We were all very happy that she finally, after all this work, was able to debut with the, with the Gold Cup share getting that goal, I think it was a special, not only for her, but for everyone, because she's also, I think you guys know, because obviously she's quite famous, but uh, she's a very special person as well, to have her around you, so it's making happiness, so uh, it's, it's, it's someone that we're very excited to, to have grow. Uh, you said that the team needs to be better in front of goal. What do you think have been the obstacles in getting those goals so far, and what, do you, what improvements do you plan on making to make sure that changes quickly. Uh, I think the obstacles today was that girl that was on the goal line. No? Like, I think we just need to make sure that we make some everyone better decisions we create. You know, I think today we are getting close to like 20 shots. That's one shot every four and a half or four, four, you know, less than five minutes. That one shot, you know, like, I think we got on the box. I, don't know. I think we, like, we got 13 of those shots inside the box. These players have the ability to to score those goals. Now we are in that moment where we're really struggling to get those goals. And at the moment, probably we have a game where we shot seven times and scored three goals. That's good. But what I can ask them is to perform and to play, to apply the concepts how we did today. And the goals will come today came really late. Uh, but, you know, have zero worries that if we play like this every week and produce these numbers, then we'll be close. Uh, hi, Co Coach Amoros. Uh, so, as you mentioned, or as you had previously mentioned, we saw a brand new center back there today and Ketchen Berger's debut. Can you just talk about how you thought they did? Yeah, sorry, the, the Berger, do you ask me about Berger? The, uh, yeah, and the, the center back. Yeah, the yeah, center back. Yeah, listen, uh, fantastic this week. We have had uh, in, in, in full training really Macy, Sam, who both of them also, you know, they've been fully training, but still we were keeping an eye on things. and. Emily Sam had stepped on that role because uh, when she's been played, obviously more even other advanced midfield. 
we have spoken with her and I have to really praise her for the attitude to, to take on board that role and I think we saw the performance outstanding with Sam. Uh, you know, I think the pair of them was, was great. When we work every week, when we do the defending unit, we work with every player so they are ready for any given time at the moment. It's not a secret, I'll, I think all had to change that a lot with, with my, my getting hurt and Tiana getting hurt now, Sam coming in and then out, and then and now Emily, you know, it's no idea. Last year we had the same issue at Lotte in the year and now we end up being champions, so hopefully it's the same. Thank you. All right, we'll take some questions from online. Any members online, if you raise your hand, we will take your questions. We'll start with Janet Snelling. Hi, Coach. Nice to see you. Thanks for taking the time. Um, you know, of, of course, you know, today was a, was a great result just in terms of how you were able to come back from the deficit, but the team is still winless in, in the last four games. So how do you just keep the morale of the team up and just know those goals are coming, the wins will come, and, and how do you kind of manage the team who are coming off as, you know, being champions? Yeah, well, I think that uh, probably of those four wins, that those are four games that we haven't won, you know, uh, if you look at the performances, I think North Carolina was really good. Um, Kansas City, I think everyone saw it. Probably the only team that has been able to actually deserve to win the game against the best team in the league at this moment in time. Last week, we weren't good enough. Today, you know, we could see, you know, they, 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 they were happy with the draw. <laughs> and that says a lot. Uh, so I think for us, it's just believing the world and trusting what we're doing. You know, I think that's, that was the same message last year. The team is pushing, the team is working hard. As I say, Jenna, I think the moment you can really see that or that moment of resilience when we consider that goal is not easy, you know, when you work so hard during the game, we're putting them under pressure and signing that counter attack that we definitely need to stop it. We go and concede that goal and look at the reaction of every player on the pitch when I said, you know what, we're going to lose this game. For me, that is the main, the main thing. The season is very long. There is, as I said, a lot of a lot of players are you know, not available or very limited and that's making it hard in games, making it hard in training, but this group of players, trust me, is a special, they're really pushing and, and I'm sure they're going to give a lot of happy moments to this match. So. Next we go to Michaela Alfano. Hi, um, you Congrats on getting a point today. Um, just the match was, the match got pretty physical, uh, lots of fouls called and with the way the season's been going, like there's been extended stoppage time. So how do you kind of manage for things like that, for the game to be going a hundred plus minutes? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think in, the, in that case, we spoke with, uh, there's been already uh, some stuff going on about VAR. I think today we had a couple of decisions that we were not even sure what was happening. We were in form, so those things are obviously adding to the tally. I think it did. You know, we just need to prepare. The game needs to be probably today needed to have more rhythm. You know, like we know the rules. If player is, they can be attended longer on the pitch if it's a concussion. If it's you know, they should and like, the game. Then when the player comes off the pitch, then they shouldn't. You know, we shouldn't be waiting for long period of time to to do a sub. Like the game needs to carry on. You know, I think it's just things that they need to manage. But you know, with the referees, I always say the same. Uh, we need more consistency and we need them to be professional. You know, I always ask for that for them because I don't think it's fair of them. Uh, they, are, uh, they are not professional, they are not fully dedicated to this. I think that is very important. Uh, everyone else is, you know, players, staff, uh, you know, people around it, business, uh, side of clubs. We really need the, the refs to be the best they can be. And I think at the moment it's difficult for them, you know, if they are not fully professional, and fully dedicated to this. So, so, yeah, that's what I would like to say about the rest. So, I hope they, one day, get it. Okay, um, Melanie. Hi, Coach. Thanks for taking the time. Um, just so before Rose and Lynn both mentioned how, you know, having a, go a goalkeeper like Anne Fitchenberger, you know, in training helps them get become better at, you know, in their attack. So, can you talk about, it's only been 10 days, but can you talk about just the impact she's had since, you know, signing with the club so far? Yeah. <coughs> With the, with you know she's been fantastic. Like she, I think uh, she brings a, another dimension in terms of experience, international experience. You know she she, she started the last game for a country like Germany, who is one of the best, not only teams in the world, but traditionally some of the best goalkeepers in history. 
she comes from a club like Chelsea, you know, like used to be in those environments, but when she brings it, you know, her shot stopping, her decision making on the ball, like she's been really, really good and it's really helping the unit. We made a decision and from here I want to say that I want to give a lot of credit to the goalkeeper unit. You know, I think Michelle and, and Cassie, there we have had Erin, Abby, who is in the return to play process. They've been fantastic. They are all pushing each other. Cassie has been really good against that she's been playing this week. We thought that and deserved to play and and very, very pleased with, with adding uh, someone else to the team that we, I think it can really help us now. Her experience, her calmness, her confidence, you saw the most pieces. It was fantastic no? for someone to make the debut and do it the way she did. I think she showed the reason why uh, she was chosen to play today. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Juan Carlos. We appreciate your.